Hello and welcome to my game through of Ultima 4. We are still here in the town of Minoc, where we were before. We've done everything we need to do here. We've gotten the location of the shrine, and we've got the mantra, and we've got the rune, and we got some hints about the stone. And so uh, we are ready to move on and we want to go find the shrine. So if we bring up the map a little bit, you can see Minoc is uh, to the north uh, on the western, excuse me, the eastern side of Lost Hope Bay. They're kind of in the top center of the map. Uh, we're going to we're going to. Um, explore this little peninsula a bit and then we're going to make our way um, across the bloody plains toward that lake that's off to the east there on that final peninsula of this larger or larger island because the shrine is supposed to be someplace near that island and we are going to be looking to find that we're also going to just be kind of doing a little bit of exploring of the land around us because we need to, we need to do that we have a, a, a more towns that we need to find but at the same time we uh, are just going to have to explore the landscape at some point because we need to find dungeons and things so uh, we're going to do a little bit of that on the way so we're going to kind of take the sightseeing version of that so let's uh, step outside and here we are at the outside of Minoc and I just this is kind of a mountainous area which is an area that's you know kind of uh, you know not unusual to find dungeons at and we found dungeon wrong and it was like that okay we're gonna have some fun with an orc maybe you know, just gonna follow us for a bit oh here we go oh there's a lot of them I guess because we've got um, because we've got, uh, you know, so many more people. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna cast a fireball at this guy because he's got a nice range attack and I don't like it. He's heavily wounded, excellent. And then Iolo will do with the sword and Julia with her mace, she's just kind of got to wait a bit and that's okay because she's got less health than us right now because um, uh, she's only level two. All right, dagger to the face. Ah, I missed him. Another attack by Olo with the sling. Good. Another heavily wounded. Julia's got to wait. Another dagger. Got him. He's gone. Okay, that's the big guy. That's important. That's important. So let's attack Iolo. Iolo, you're kind of you're kind of disappointing me here. Um, all right, Julia is almost ready to engage. Uh, I'm going to go over and help her since she's got the lowest amount of health of any of us. Ugh. All right, I meant to move me, but it was her turn. She should have attacked. Um, okay, so Iolo's killed somebody. Do it, Julia. Ooh, orc fleeing. Well, let's, we can't have that. Ooh, killed him. Okay, good. So Iolo's got one in his face. I'm going to move Julia up. We'll take these guys out. Take a little more paying attention to know who's who's fighting here. Okay, so I want to stab. There we go. He's oh he's fleeing. He thinks. All right, Julia, get up there. Oh, he is fleeing. All right, I will let him flee. I'm not going to waste the dagger. I suppose I could ready. I could have readied my sling. Um, Julia can't attack anybody that's not in his face. All right, we'll attack the one that's right here in front of us. Iolo's got that orc fleeing. That's good news. Julia, do your thing. That orc's fleeing. I'm wondering about this one in the middle here, if he's going to get a second win and come back in for another another shot at it. She missed. Okay, now he's fleeing. Uh, I didn't want to do that, but okay. Dagger. Oh, hit him. He's still fleeing. Iolo, you hit him. Wow. It's a pretty resilient orc there. We'll just kind of chase these guys. Because otherwise, they're just going to wait for us. There we go. Got him gone. All right. Good. So we will have... I guess I will do it because I've got the most health. 81 gold. Very nice. Okay. So we've got... We're, we're in mountains here. 
Uh, let's go look at this area here, but there doesn't seem to be anything, no dungeons or anything. All right. More orcs. I think I should call myself Orc Killer. Wow, there's a lot. I, you know, they've really upped the odds. Now that we got three of us, when we get more, they're going to be like, hey, here's 15 orcs for you to kill. All right, we need to get these guys in some form of uh, position. I'm going to ready my sling to start with. I'll switch to daggers when they get a little closer. Iola, you can go there, and I'll have Julia move up. And I'm just going to wait. I'll have at least all in a row. So come on down. Come on down. All right. So I might as well. I guess I should just ready my daggers. Have Iolo attack. Heavily wounded. Had Julia attack, she missed, which is unfortunate. Attack again, Iolo, he missed. Julia, lightly wounded. That's good. That one's heavily wounded. Julia, you're gonna have to be on your own because I got two in front of me, so I'm gonna have to... Uh... Okay, Iolo did his job. Got rid of one, and Julia did as well. I'm going to have Iolo move up and help Julia out a little bit. All right, Julia, we're doing a lot of missing here, which is concerning. Okay, so my guy is now heavily wounded, thanks to a dagger to the face. That guy's heavily wounded. Finish him off, Julia. Uh, we need you to get some XP there. We need you to get you up to, uh, up to our levels here. Do it, do it, do it. Smash his head in as she misses. It's great to have a companion, but it'd be nice if we could uh, get her to hit something. She mainly seems to be missing. And so is Iolo. All right, so she's got that guy, so he's fleeing. All right, attack. Get over here, Iolo, where you can do some good. Julia, attack! She missed. He's still fleeing. All right, now Iolo can attack, move Julia up. And now that we can, all three of us just wail on this guy until he's dead or gives up. I guess we need really need to give uh, Julia some practice with her mace. He's heavily wounded. Probably just needs one good blow. Come on, Julia. Still, oh, now he's fleeing. There we go. He's gone. All right, this guy's fleeing. We'll just kind of chase him off the battlefield there. Okay, good. Um, I still have the most health. 86 gold. All right, so we'll come down off of this peninsula. And uh, now if I was to go up north here, following that mountain range, that would take us back up to where the moon gate is. We don't want to do that. I mean... We, we know where that's at. Now, there's other little little spit of land that comes out here. Let's just take a peek here. There's nothing here. That's about what I expected, but, you know, never hurts to look. All right, so we come down here, and we find an Etten waiting for us. All right. Ooh, and what I think that's a Griffith. All right, so this is going to be some magic. Oh, we got two of them. Oh, dear. All right, magic, magic time. All right. Uh, Julia's just kind of got to get in position. Uh, I'm going to cast a fireball in this dude's face. Lightly wounded. Okay, well, that's a start, I guess. I think this is going to be... He might get a magic missile next. Oh, I forgot Ettens could throw rocks. Yeah, that's not good. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay, I'm going to cast uh, my magic missile. I think this is my last one, actually. North. All right. Now he's fleeing. Interesting. All right. So Iolo's gonna, going to do nothing. All right. 
Uh, I'm going to do a dagger. I'll, I'll invest a dagger in this. Oh, what did I do? Not here. I'm in battle. <laughs> what do you mean? Not here. I must have hit the wrong button or something. All right. Ready. Sling. Uh, sorry. D. Because they aren't really wanting to, um, I can't throw a dagger here. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. All right, so I have Iolo attack. All right, Julia is going to ready a weapon, and she's going to take back her mace. Oh, dear, we are sleeping. It's just Julia. Oh. Yeah, I don't think she can cast. There's there's a spell we have to wake up, I think, but I don't think she's got that spell. Or the magic to do that. Okay, Julia with Mace. Um, I don't think she can kill all these people with her Mace. What's her hit points at right now? 62. Nope. Uh, I think this is going to be a case where, where discretion is the better part of valor. Now we're all dead. Or we're all sleeping. Oh, Iolo's awake. Holy moly. Julia is dead. I'm asleep. Iolo's left the field. All right, I'm awake now. Holy moly, that was intense. Oh, golly. I don't think there was a healer at, at Minoc, was there? And I do not have the resurrection spell right now. I have to learn that spell from somebody. Wow, that's horrible. Uh, that was really intensive. Ugh, dear gosh. Wow, more really intensive. All right. Let's see if we can take these guys out. Uh, all right. Cast fireball. Barely wounded. These uh, Etons are really tough. They are really tough. Um, and I don't understand why I couldn't I couldn't attack with my daggers. That's confusing me. All right. I'm going to cast another fireball. I mean, this guy's a fireball sponge. This is my third one. And now he's fleeing. But yet he's still throwing stuff at me. All right. Dagger. Missed. Now he's fleeing. Okay, I'm gonna dagger these guys because they're worth it. I might use a firewall, a fire, firewall, fireball on him. The Etten does appear to be fleeing. I'm missing with my daggers. Barely wounded. Lightly wounded. He's missing. Ugh. Let's see. So cast fireball north. Help Iolo out here because he's gonna get hit in both from two different directions. All right. So we got. We're down to two. You are fleeing, sir. Continue fleeing. So my troll's heavily wounded, and Iolo's just missing. So now my troll's fleeing. And I missed. All right. I don't trust this guy to keep fleeing. So if I can kill him with a dagger. I should have borrowed Julia's mace or had Iolo borrow Julia's mace. You know, you fleeing guys should just run away. There we go. He's gone. All right, Mr. Atten. 
You feel lucky, punk? All right, Iolo, you're a little better off than I am. 53 gold. All right, I don't necessarily want to deal with these rogues. Because God only knows what we're going to get. So, there's another peninsula up here that kind of juts up. Oh, sea monster is shooting at me. All right, maybe we'll come down here and, I guess, deal with the rogues. We're probably going to... Oh, gosh. Wow, this is... The, I guess this is why they call it the Bloody Plains. Because, yeah, this is... Okay, I like these odds. These odds are right up my alley. Uh, this is exactly what I want in odds. You know, two against one. You know, we're not we're not fighting with Queensbury rules here. Um, all right, we got to get this guy lined up. I'm going to ready my sling. And um, we just need him to, like, just slide over. There we go. There we go. So now I can get behind Iolo. Iolo can attack. There, now we can just sling him to death. He's heavily wounded. Hopefully, he's already fleeing and we're done. Get, um, I guess it'd be Iolo again. 14 gold. All right, is this, oh God, is this like, whoa! Okay, these are only rogues. These are only rogues, so um, it shouldn't be that bad. Famous last words. Um, I remember saying that once, and then I woke up in uh, Lord British's throne room. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. So, and I miss. And he misses. All right. He's lightly wounded. He's fleeing. All right. So we got one off the board, sort of. And I missed. All right. My rogue is fleeing. We do a lot of missing. Is there? We need some place where we can go and work on our. There's one down where we can go and work on our skills so that we don't we don't miss quite so often. All right, uh, Iolo, you can hit that guy. He's heavily wounded. He's fleeing, supposedly. All right. All right. So I'm liking we're doing better. The nice thing about the uh, about the slings is if they keep going in a straight line, we can keep uh, sniping at them. And maybe kill them. Maybe not. There we go. Get. Um, Iolo. 10 gold. All right. Uh, I wonder if I can just run. Can I run past you? I'm running past you. <laughs> running past the gauntlet, man. I, I knew. Oh, yeah. And what do we get? Grass. Just grass. That's that's all we get. That's all you need. Whoops. Whoops. Too close. I, I, I kind of hate that all the bad, bad, bad creatures here, they can work in diagonals. We are stuck you know, with Cardinal, you know, north, south, east, west, but everybody else can attack us via diagonals. It doesn't seem quite fair. He lightly wounded, heavily wounded, fleeing. Ooh, got that one one hit. Nice. Lightly wounded. Just, just yeah, just line up and... <laughs> We'll mow you down. <laughs> heavily wounded. Excellent. Still heavily wounded. Orc blood trailing into his eyes. That orc's fleeing. I feel like they're lining up again. You know, it's like football drills. You know, the guy comes up front and runs a snap or whatever, and then he runs to the back of the line. I think that's what's happening here with this battle. Is, is we hit them. They're in the front, and they're like, oh, I got, I'm fleeing. And then they get in the back of the line again, and they and they give it another go. Okay. So... Let's see if we can uh, maybe get this guy killed. Yay! He's got a rock in between him, so we won't be able to get to him very easily. So I guess we'll just let him flee. Uh, Iolo, you can get that. All right. So 
We looked up in that little peninsula, that last little peninsula, and uh, these mountain ranges are the ranges that border the area um, where that lake is, where the shrine is at. So it looked like on the map, oh, dear Annette, and there's just one, um, another orc thing. There's just one uh, passage, and that was it. Okay. Two orcs. I'm liking these odds. This works for me. All right. You take care of yours, and I'll take care of mine. Mine's fleeing already. Uh, maybe I'll get up here so I can help help Iolo out. All right. Heavily wounded. I should have attacked there and not moved. I was thinking about my orc, and I thought, ah, I can get him, but he's fleeing. All right. He's gone. Uh, missed. There we go. Iolo, you can get that. 42 gold. That's one thing about being out here in the world is you get... Oh! oh. <laughs> okay, so this is how I could have gone without facing the gauntlet. I didn't realize that there was a passage here. All right, now we know. Now we know. We need to get back up there. We, uh, well, no, there's not a moon gate up there. Not a moon gate. I, I still don't want to deal with you, Mr. Eden. We got another bridge. I don't think that's on the map. Oh, man, these orcs. They breed like orcs or something. All right. Yeah, there's certainly a ton of baddies here. Our, our gold should, should uh, really start to really start to increase. Okay. Are you fleeing, sir? He's fleeing. All right. Get uh, Iolo. We probably need to rest up, hold up and rest at some point. So what is this area here that I'm looking at? Oh, the Etten followed me. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a shrine. We're at the lake. I didn't realize we were at the lake already. All right, let's take a... Oh, it's just the one guy. Um, but they are pretty uh, damage resistant, but he's already heavily wounded, so that's a good sign. He's fleeing. I'm willing to throw a little bit of... Uh, oh, good, got him. Who opens? Uh, that would be Iolo. That's his job. 56 gold. Beautiful. All right. I don't want to go that way. I don't want to go through. Oh, it's a different Eden. Oh, I see the bridge. Oh. Let's move him up. Dagger. Dagger to the face. He's taking one fireball. He ought to be somewhat damaged. We're doing a lot of missing. Okay, Iolo's troll is heavily wounded. That's good news. Mine is dead, yes. Um, let's cut down here. And what's nice is where I am, I can hit the one that's right in front of Iolo. So that's nice. It's almost like I, I uh, planned that way. I didn't, but yeah, I love it. He's fleeing from Iolo, but he, so he's, he's, he's going to see, well, I'm going to see if you're any easier to deal with because that guy was kicking my buttocks. All right. All right, Iolo. We'll get you in position so you can hit him in the back of the head. There we go. He's fleeing again. He's fleeing back towards Iolo. I think this guy's a little confused. There we go. He's gone. All right. This guy's fleeing and he's gone. All right. So, Iolo's going to get that. <sighs> Are you seriously kidding me?
I gotta say, the slings actually do pretty good. Uh, I, I'm pretty happy with them as a as, as a main weapon. All right. Who opens? Uh, still ILO. All right. Are we off of that? Golly. All right. So here we are. We've made it to the shrine of... Um, this is the shrine of justice, I think. No, this is the shrine of sacrifice. Sacrifice. I also want to try... Um, some of the one of the other um, mantras, one of the other um, uh, virtues, and see if that's uh, see if we can do that at this shrine. Okay, so let's get in there. Man, this place is like lousy with atoms, but we're going to ignore you for the moment, sir. All right, what virtue? So since. Um, we're in sacrifice land. S A C R I F I C E. For one cycle. And the um, the mantra is Ka. Thy thoughts are pure, thou art granted a vision. To give thy last gold piece unto the needy shows good measure of self-sacrifice. Okay, cool. So we were able to get one of our cycles done. No, we've discussed this in the past. But uh, we need to do one, two, and three cycles for each virtue. So before... It wouldn't let us meditate right away again on the same virtue, but let's let's try two cycles. Yeah, okay. So let's now try um, justice, just for fun. How many cycles? One. Thou art unable to focus thy thoughts on this subject. I think that's because I'm at the wrong shrine. All right. All right. So I'm going to ignore these guys for the moment. Uh, I want us to hold up in camp. Unfortunately, Julia, we're just dragging her along. When we get to a town that's got a healer, we can get her resurrected. But unfortunately, let's take a look at our stats for, the, for a moment and see where we are with things. So, um, I think we have to get up to 800 experience before we can get to level five, if I remember correctly. Um, so I've got, I'm at 643 and then he's at 548. And then when we can get Julia up to 200, once we get her alive again, um, we can, we can, um, get her to level three, which will help her, I think, with hit points, probably get her up to 300 hit points. Also might want to think about getting her some better armor. Since she is a melee uh, character, that would be better for her. So I still have 21 daggers, so not too bad. It probably helps that for these last few battles I was using the sling, and so that's saving me on my daggers, so I'm okay with that. Um, we still just have the one torch. We got the two runes. Nothing's changed there. Um, we are down to four fireballs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's not good at all. So do I have what I need to mix more? So to mix a fireball, I need sulfurous ash and black pearl. I do. I could do eight more fireballs. Given that we are uh, in this land that's attached to the bloody hills, I think that's a good idea especially since I have a skeleton and an Etten staring me in the face. So let's do that. Um, so we're going to mix uh, for spell fireball. And then we want sulfurous ash and black pearl in that order. So we need A and F. A, F. Okay, fireball. 
a f that's what messed me up because i got to do fireball you know i was probably doing it too fast all right try to get a rhythm here but not one that's going to screw me up all right See, I started to mess it up there. Oh, we're done. Okay, we did them all. We did them all. Okay, so now I've got 12 fireballs. All right, that is good. I like that. We're probably going to have to get back to Moonglow sometime in the near future and get more reagents. Uh, <laughs> all right. Looks like we got to get off this little island and start killing some things. I want to explore the rest of this section of land before we leave here. So we're just going to have these guys hound. Oh my gosh. Oh, all right. Cast. Cast. I want to cast a fireball. Oh, okay. I'm slinging them. I'm slinging them. Um, I, I didn't say attack. I don't. Sometimes this game just confuses the living snot out of me. But he's already heavily wounded. So maybe it's just as well. All right. He's fleeing now. That's good. If he really flees. I'll attack a new guy. That's And that guy's fleeing. I'm, I'm happy if they're all just running away. That makes me happy. It makes me less happy when they run away while throwing stuff at me. That makes me less happy. Oh, that guy's gone. I think he was, I think he was uh, fleeing. So that's of of limited use. But all right, I need to. I'm gonna go down here, so I'm not gonna attack. They they tend to like to stand in rows. These guys. All right. So one guy ran away. All right, he's heavily wounded. My troll's fleeing. All right, so. Okay, we're down to one, and then there was one. All right, now I can get him while he's standing right there. Excellent. Do the double whammy on him. He's heavily wounded. There we go. I should stop moving. I should know there's a chest there and just try to get. Um, I guess I will. I'm a little bit better off. All right. Oh, dear gosh. All right. Well, I, I we need to get rid of these guys. Okay. I, I, I like this a heck of a lot better than, you know, five Ettons. All right. I really should get Iolo in front of me because he's got better armor than I do. I'm basically in my bathrobe. So I will, um, I'm going to, I'm going to cast another fireball because these guys can take a lot of damage. Oh, not that much damage. All right. This guy, I'm going to do one fireball and then maybe I'll switch to, um, Okay, he's fleeing. Excellent. Uh, let's see. I want to attack. I do not want to cast any more spells. Good. Got him. Uh, I will do it. Oh, that's a mage. All right. Cast fireball in your face. Barely wounded. That's not a good sign. Oh, MP too low. Holy moly. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to have to go um, attacks with this guy for the moment. All right, that skeleton's fleeing. That skeleton's fleeing. 
I need to get over here. I, I need to kind of protect Iolo from this guy a little bit. Um, I'll attack him again. I missed. All right. Can I cast Fireball in your face? He's heavily wounded now. Excellent. I'll attack him. I really would like to, to have my dagger in my hand at this point. That skeleton is... Oh, a magical hit. Well, that's because I've got this guy in my face. I missed. Do I need to do another... He is heavily wounded, so I guess I won't waste another fireball on him. Mage critical. That's new. I don't know that I've seen that before. Somebody being critical. All right, now he's running away, so we will let the slings do the talking. Excellent. 12 experience points. That was nice. Way to go, Iolo. Okay. Get rid of this last guy. Oh, I got, I've got uh, trunks. We got 67 gold, and now we've got one Etten. All right. I like that. Cast, fireball. My MP is too low. I, I guess I've never done so much casting in quick su succession that I run into that I run into that problem. All right, Iolo opens that one. That's just a chest there. Oh, I did that just before we got in the combat. All right, Iolo opens that one. That's ninety six gold. Ooh, ooh, that's a Cyclops. Who opens Iolo acid trap? Okay, sorry about that. I'm going to have to take this guy on. Okay, we got two of them. I'm going to give him a fireball in the face. Lightly wounded. Okay. I miss on my sling. Barely wounded. Well, let's make those wounds a little bit better. Now he's critical. Okay, good. Now my Cyclops is fleeing. Good. These guys have got quite the fashion sense. They look like crossing guards. All right, can I get rid of my guy? Ah, I keep missing him. I keep missing him. I would like the XP. Okay, so Iolo. He's got his guy. Now we can double team on this guy and miss. He's lightly wounded. Now he's heavily wounded. Now he's critical. Did I just miss that? I feel like this is the first time I'm seeing critical all over the place. Maybe, maybe, maybe I just missed it. All right, Iolo opens that. 52 gold. Look at our gold. We're up to 800 gold. Oh, oh dear me. Whatever is that? A little collection of huts on this little uh, on this little spit of land to the very far south there. Ooh, that is interesting. That is interesting. But we're going to keep that for another day, I think. In fact, I think I'm going to stop the episode right here. Um, and we will see what this place is. So I hope you will come back for the next episode where we will visit whatever this little village is, what it looks like. Uh, that's not on the map. So we will see what this is and ignore the terrifying man in the sea and, um, and do some more exploring and eventually get someplace where we can resurrect poor dead Julia. Maybe we can do it here. We'll find out next time. But thank you so much for uh, coming along in this adventure with me. I do hope you come back on the next episode. And until then, be seeing you.